Uh, how have you had the, been able to balance, you know, the work and everything you've done with family and everything? And you know, and don't we all do that? I mean, don't we? Whether we're doing this for a living or what, no matter what your job is, I mean, that's always the rub. That's always the thing that um, that creates. Uh, it can create friction. It can create um, a longing uh, or a feeling that maybe. You know, is this what I should be doing? You know, when I miss this, or when I'm on the road and I can't be there for this, and am I paying enough attention to my wife and kids? And you know, and and it's hard because you know, in so many families, husband and wife are both working, and you know, who's going to get the kids to little league, and who's going to do this, and how do you juggle it all? Um, but I think the answer is, you just have to be intentional about it, um, you, and you have to be. You know, we still to this date, my wife and I still have a day where we say, let's go over calendar. Let's look at everything that's coming up in the next three or four weeks and make sure that nothing's going to come up and surprise us. We know that sometimes there are things that happen and all of a sudden they say, hey, you need to go out of town for this. But let's get everything laid out so we know when the windows of opportunity are. And then you've got to be really intentional about taking advantage of those. Um, and I think sometimes if you're too focused on the work and and you say, no, no, I really need to be in there by, by noon on that day, when actually you could be in by 1.30 for that show. Maybe there's something you can do in that hour and a half that honors your wife or honors your kids. And, and, I, and I think that's where you really have to be intentional and make the most of the time that you do have. You've always been out there about appreciating the little things, the small moments that pop up. Is that yeah. something you think a lot of folks don't take the time to or maybe don't to notice the little maybe little things to just pop up here and there, maybe we don't take advantage of enough of those? Maybe? Sure. Oh, without question. And, um, and I realize that uh, your ability to appreciate those things sometimes goes with where you are in your career. Look, when we both started out, you're trying to make your mark, and it's like the last thing I want the news director here to think is that I'm not available at, a, at the drop of a hat. To, you know, and so you're, you're so driven by your work. Um, but yeah, we, you know, in, in my family, we call them the Blackberry moments uh, because, you know, and it goes back a long way to an old Little League story that I was playing in a game that was delayed because the left fielder and the center fielder on our team jumped over a fence to get a ball, but then abandoned that search because they found Blackberries and they just were sitting there eating them. And, and I said, that's what we have to do. We have to, you have to have that mentality where you can step away from the game, whatever that game is, whatever your job is, whatever the next conference call is, whatever's pulling at you. Maybe sometimes you need to say, I'm not going to play this week because I'm going to hang out with my daughter. And, or I'm going to take my wife out for lunch and we're going to do this. Um, and that's where the Blackberry moments come up because these, these moments, these unpredictable moments, these sweet moments can define your life and define what, you know, not just your life, but the life of somebody else. And so, yeah, we, we try to build our lives around Blackberry moments. And I had one, I mean, look, I had one of those yesterday. I have them all the time. But, but just an example of one is I went uh, to pick up two of my granddaughters um, from pre-K. My, uh, my daughter, Maggie, is a teacher at Buford High School. And about a mile from there is where they go to pre-K. And so I went and got Katie, and we were going to go, and she's four, going on five. and. Um, then we went to get our, my two-year-old granddaughter, Amy. And in her room, they had already turned the lights out so all the, the kids that age could, could have nap time. And so we creak open the door, and all I hear out of this darkness is, Poppy! And so Amy had seen me while these kids are sleeping. Amy had seen me in the doorway. And that's a Blackberry moment. That's one of those things where, look, Sure, my wife had said, hey, I'll go pick up the girls. But Katie has kind of said, I think it's Poppy's turn to pick us up. And so I said, well, I'm gone. And I had worked, you know, till 3 o'clock in the morning the night before. Sweet. And I, but that was, but that was the moment. And that's why by going there and being the guy to pick them up, I got that door open, total darkness, Poppy. And it was just one of these, man, how awesome is that?